Okay, we're, uh, we're out gonna tune some saws today. We're gonna tune the 455. Basically all that needs to be done is just set the idle. It was a little bit off. Uh, set it, make sure it runs good. Um, and then, and on the 455, we got a brand new, I converted my chain back to a uh, round ground. Uh, it's getting towards the end of its life, so it was getting kind of hard to square file it, so I just went and threw it on the grinder and put it back to round chisel. Uh, but uh, I'm going to set the idle on the 455, make sure it runs good. Air filters are blown out on them. And then uh, the 372, I'm going to get it tuned in today. Uh, I'm gonna get try to get the majority of tuning it on here, the rough tune of it. Uh, freshly, brand new chain on 372, air filter blown out, gas and oiled up. Uh, everything's good on it. Um, the 372, I reset the carb. It's turned, uh, idle's turned up about probably one and a half to one and three quarter uh, turns out on the idle butterfly. And then the uh, high and low are set uh, about a one, little bit over one turn each on uh, the high and low jets on the uh, 372. Uh, we're going to fire the 455 up here first and uh, tune it first. And then we'll go on and tack it, make sure the idle's set good. And then uh, go ahead and do the uh, 372 and get all my stuff here. Make sure you all are filming still. You saw that I started, so I'm gonna make a couple cuts and get them warmed up first, and uh, then start tuning them. I got a new paint job too on my 455 bar, just a, a red bar uh, or black bar, red tip. <laughs>
see three or uh, right out about 3100 rpms uh, idle and turning right out a uh, 13.6 wide open throttle with no load in it uh, which is what the saw is supposed to be it does have a limited coil on it uh, it's not bouncing off the limiter though which is a good thing uh, so that one's done now on to the uh, 372 here and we're gonna see about if we can get it to start if we can get it to start then we can tune it I had troubles with it start it wouldn't start and it die on me choke it die and then I'd go and choke it again and die and then come back a little bit later and then start so we're gonna see if we can get her to start here hopefully talking about there and sounds like carburation issue I might have to tear the car back apart rebuilt it and everything went in right but might be some crud in it or something like that maybe I'm not sure but I cannot get it to run for the life of me Things. I have the uh, limiters on these off, and uh, so it's easier to tune them with that top cover off. It's easy just to pop it on and off and tune it. This is about full turnout on uh, the high screw and about one and a half turnout on the low screw.
bad four stroke right there. So we will go set our high a little bit up, turn that up quite a bit. It was turning about mm, 11 something, which is a really low for a 372. So we'll go and turn around about a half turn. See what she wants to run like now. That's a good rough tune though, pretty good tune. I mean, actually, I'll turn the high up, oh, a little bit on it, and uh, then just the low end on it a little bit. And uh, check the idle again, check all my readings, and then that should be good to go. I'll run probably three tanks through it, uh, really breaking it in before I really go at it. Uh, you know, run it for 10 minutes, let it cool down, 10 minutes, let it cool down, and really break those rings and piston or rings and bearings and all that go back through pressure vacuum test it make sure we are sealing good and everything and uh that should be good to go but that's pretty good if you're good at tuning saws you can listen to them and you know you can tell when they're four stroke and tell when they're not uh 
just takes a good ear and do, being able to do it a lot. And I'm not the greatest at it, but I can get them tuned in pretty good. So, and uh, if you're gonna do it, you need a good tack and uh, everything. That tack I got's not the greatest. Uh, there's some better ones, but that was what I got a little bit cheaper and works pretty good. And that saw runs good now with that rebuild in it. Uh, it runs a lot better, and that chain's really grabby for some reason. Brand new chain and. Uh, and then uh, other than that though it runs good just other than that shaking I think that's my bar though but thanks for watching